Good evening, my Taurus Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Taurus? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, Taurus. What's up, Taurus? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Taurus. Collective. What's up, Taurus? What's going on? What's up, Taurus? What's up? What's up, Taurus? What's up? So, are you getting uh, cheered on? What's going on here? Haunted staircase. Don't let what ifs haunt you. Regrets, unsaid words, missed opportunities. Okay. So, this. Y'all see this card, Taurus? Look at that. It's like a little child down there at the foot of the stairs, and there's an image up there. Haunted staircase. So someone, uh, don't let what-ifs haunt you. So if you need to get closure or whatever, do what you got to do. Regrets, unsaid words, missed opportunities. Succubus cave. Protect your energy. Draining energy, toxic relationships, temptation. Portal, a new doors opening, beginning opportunities, adventures. Okay, now Taurus, do you see this? There's two doors there. Uh, which door looks more inviting, Taurus? And that should answer your question. We got the portal, a new doors opening, beginnings, opportunities, adventure. That looks fun and exciting. Right? See that beautiful light right there? Very energetic. Or we got the succubus cave here, which is protect your energy. Draining energy, toxic relationships, and temptations. Like I said, Taurus, that's a no-brainer. What door looks more appealing? What door looks more uh, opportunistic for you? That's interesting. So, Taurus, uh, someone could be cheering you on, uh, either in the right direction or cheering you on to do something negative. So, I don't know. Taurus, who's your fucking cheerleaders right now? Who's your cheerleaders? I guess that's the question. Taurus, let's, well, I was going to say let's throw a fucking song on this, but you know what? Y'all see the way that shit went? I don't know. You know what? To me, that says fuck that song, so I guess... <sighs> there will be an answer, let it be. Times of trouble, Mother Mary, come to me, speaking words of wisdom. Let it be. Ooh, that was uh, deep there, uh, Taurus. The Beatles, let it be. Uh, maybe that means something to you? I don't know, Taurus. That was pretty fucking deep. Okay, so you got cheerleaders cheating yawn. You got two opportunities. It's not... I'm, it's almost like a game show, right? It's almost like a game show. Thank you, Spirit. You're up there. You're winning. You have an opportunity, right? Which door are you going to choose? Door number one is a dream vacation with $50,000 spending cash. Door number two is a brand new vehicle, but that vehicle is going to have problem after problem after problem after problem, right? So here you go. You got two choices. The crowd is cheering you on. Taurus, which door do you choose? Or maybe that second door is a, 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 a loss, a, like a golf cart or something. I don't fucking know. Either way, you got two opportunities. One's a great uh, opportunity with some financial gain. The other one's just going to be uh, not a good pick. Let it be for the song. So 
Some of y'all take it to Jesus, right? Who who's cheering you on? Who's cheering you on? I guess that's the that's the greater question. Who's cheering you on? <laughs> Game show. The price is right. Is that the price is right? I don't remember. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, Taurus, what's going on with y'all? Taurus, please and thank you, Spirit. Oh. Okay, so someone's in their head about uh could be a reconciliation or a child or a family situation here. Okay, we got the six of cups. So you're in your head. Um that's not good, whatever you're in your head. Uh you gotta you gotta ground yourself. Uh prayer, you know, we have that card. Keep your protections up, say your prayers, take it to Jesus. Some of y'all bring you some Mother Mary candles, okay. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Focus on yourself. Don't focus on the hardships, right? You have a choice here. You can either wallow in this uh, this energy right here or you can heal from it. You see that? You got two choices. What are you going to do? Taurus, it seems to me you got two choices. So there you go. I mean, that's pretty simple, right? Two choices. What are you going to choose? You can choose happiness or you can choose regret. You can choose financial uh, stability or you could choose a financial loss. What do you want? I know when you put it that way, it seems like an easy choice, right? So, Taurus, maybe some of you are overthinking a situation to the point that, you know, that's why you're stuck in your head. You're just overthinking yourself. You're just overthinking. And that can happen... In the Nine of Swords energy, you have to make sure when you're in that, that, that depressive state and you're unable to think clearly, you're unable to make the decisions you need to make. Yeah, there's some heartbreaking decisions here. Okay, you're, you're, you got two choices. Uh, don't let it just keep pulling you down and be a fucking weight. Okay, you got to be able to, to navigate that. Don't go down the rabbit hole. So for a lot of you Torrens, you need to you need to you need to be your own fucking cheerleader, okay? Instead of expecting everybody else to to build you up, uh, you're getting ready to make that fucking shot. You gotta do the pep talk to yourself. So you need to internalize that and do what you need to do. Two, two, you got a fucking choice. You got two choices: door number one or door number two. Which one are you choosing, Taurus? There's ten of pentacles. And the Will of Fortune. You know what? We're going to put that two of wands in the middle. Because this is like, what, what the hell do you want? What do you want? It looks like either way here, you're good. I mean, in, in this option right here, some yeah, this a you know, strong, happy family. This right here is the Will of Fortune where you just take that spin and it's left up to the universe. You, you don't know what the outcome is. Uh, for some of you, that could be the issue. You might know what this outcome's going to be. And that's why, you know, maybe that's what you fear. And then you got this one, which is you could spin that wheel and damn, you don't know what the hell you could hit. You do seem to be leaning a little more towards that spin of that wheel. You know, it's kind of like you could take what you got or you could take the chance on the spin of the wheel and maybe lose it all. So maybe that's what you're going up against right now, Taurus. And it doesn't have to be, you know, literally that. Maybe it's just a, a situation where you know what you got or a situation where you don't know what. And look at that. I just realized they're both 10 cards. It's like uh, endings, new beginnings. So uh, what do you want? You know what, Taurus? I have to tell you, I like this energy, but it's like it's like the pressure of a game show. But who's cheering you on? Who you are? You going to listen to the crowd, or are you going to listen to your gut instinct? Do y'all watch game shows? Uh, maybe game shows factor in. Uh, it, that's what it feels like. You're going to be given a choice. You can either stick with what you have, or you can spin that wheel and hope for more. But I will tell you, that, but in this mind space right here, thank you, Spirit, this is not a good place to make major life decisions. So if you are feeling down and out and heartbroken, 
you seriously need want to heal yourself before you make any major life decisions. Okay, so if you need to take it to God, uh, you know, go talk to a preacher, uh, go talk to a therapist. You got to get out of this frame of mind because you never want to make major life decisions when you are you are in this energy. Because you're not always going to see all the available options. You know what I mean, Taurus? It's like you're going to have to uplift your energy a little bit. So you're not feeling destitute and heartbroken. Because that's not a safe place to, to make a major life decision. Yeah, you got you to gotta be able to separate your head from your heart. And manifest what you want. So, uh, uh, some of you Torrents, I'm telling you, you uh, who's your fucking cheerleaders? Who's who's cheering you on? If you're in a game show situation and you have a choice between two doors, are you going to trust your own gut instinct or are you going to listen to the audience? What are you going to do here? But it is hard and we have the nine of swords come up. So if you're in this heartbreak and you're feeling destitute and destitute and just you're not feeling good. You need to focus on this before you make any decisions. So get the help that you need. Seek the counsel that you need. Be it uh, through a counselor or through uh, someone spiritual, a preacher, uh, a deacon in the church, someone that you trust. Make it be someone that you trust. Uh, you know, when you're, when you're dealing with energies like this, the great thing about a third party person, a therapist, is uh, they don't have two stakes in whatever the fuck you decide to do. They're just going to help you look at things from a practical standpoint. If you go to maybe someone, the family church, and you're talking to the preacher, they could have some preconceived things that they're trying to tell you what to do. You want to make sure when you take advice that, you know, the people that are giving you the advice don't have nothing at stake with what your decision is. Who are you listening to? That's, that's the importance of that, that separate third-party energy. They don't care what the fuck you decide. They're just there to kind of help you navigate and maybe make better choices for you. Because some of y'all are definitely dealing with some deception here. Five of Swords with, the, with this devil energy. And this, this could just be a toxic attachment, y'all. That isn't good. You know, who, who's cheering you on? Who are you getting advice from? Are you listening to a toxic devilish energy that just wants to keep you stuck? Or are you listening to someone who is actually going to help give you information that could uh, lead you to something better, right? If this church don't have uh, the room for you, they're going to say, hey, you know what? But I called my pastor over here at this church and he's able to give you all the space, right? Who are you listening to? Taurus, I like this energy, but you, you, please, any Taurus going through this, you got to get out of this energy first before you make any major life decisions, or this is going to keep you stuck. And you're basically going to be cock blocking your own fucking success because you're not trusting it. And even if you did take that spin on that will of fortune and you're in that sad energy, you're probably going to fuck up whatever the hell is given to you because you're not in the right mindset. Twos, twos keep coming up. So twos could factor into your situation heavily. You got to make a decision. But I, I think the main thing is, who are you listening to? Are you going to trust your gut instinct or are you listening to the crowd? Picture yourself at, 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 in, a, in a game show. What are you going to do? There's positive energies here, but you got to be in the right mind space. You got to be in the right heart space. In order for it to work out to your benefit. Or anything you gain that would be a positive. You're just going to fuck it up. You're just going to fuck it up. So please. Get the, get the help that you need. Now remember. Get it from people who have no stake. In what the hell you decide. Because friends, family and loved ones. Uh, can. Steer your advice. And, and fuck you up. Especially if it. It means an opportunity, and they're just jealous of what the hell you got, right? They don't want you to have more money, so they're going to, you know, if they know that the losing door is two, they're going to tell you to vote, vote two. Queen of Pentacles energy here. High Priestess, Three of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. 
Taurus, you got some beautiful energy around you, but I don't know why the hell you're in your mind space. The High Priestess, the Magician, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles in the upright, and we got this energy. Who's, who's bringing you peace, love, light, and balance? These two together again. Torrance, a lot of you are going through uh, a very interesting situation right here. I want you to look at your situation right now as being a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You've got spirit working on your behalf here. That can change everything. This is like life changing decision. You're either going to be ready to move forward into something new. Or you're going to stay stuck in an energy. It's coming down. Some of you. That, that chance. You're just going to have to take the chance and spend the fucking will. Right? If you don't want to go get the healing work done that you need to do. To heal, to heal whatever you're going through, any sadness or depression, uh, you might as well just take the spin on the fucking wheel and take your chances. If you're feeling that uh, uh, exhausted, tired, or just unable to make a fucking decision, take the spin. Spirit is setting you down in situations. Some of you right now, Torrens, don't need to be making any major decisions yet. Especially when you feel stuck or trapped. We've had the Eight of Swords here, down the Nine of Swords. You need to get out of this fucking energy. Okay? Don't make any major life choices in this energy. If you, if you cannot get out of this mind space, you seriously need to go get some assistance. Because if you got such major decisions to make and you're still in that mind space, you just gonna fuck up everything. This this would be the 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 issue of taking an opportunity and it just spiraling downward. So Torrens, um it's like you're gonna piss away the greatest moment or opportunity that you could probably ever get in your life right now. But you got to do the healing work. You got to take it to Jesus. You got to take it to God. You got to find some peace and solace within yourself, your soul, whatever you got going on. You, and you got to get out of your fucking head. Okay? Spirit has given you an opportunity to totally change everything for better. But you got to do the work. This, this uh, honestly, is, is almost the energy of spirit throwing you down a, a life preserver. And it, it's the choice you make between getting in that life preserver. If you have to swim with all your might to crawl into the safety of that life preserver. Or you're just going to sit there and keep fighting and not try and give up before you even reach the life preserver. This is spirit, man. This is spirit, Taurus. Ooh. Ooh, this is spirit. Yeah. This is beautiful. You got God throwing you a freaking life preserver here. What are you going to do? Is that what they call them little donut things they keep on the boats? Life preservers? Mmm. There you go, uh, Taurus. You are getting so much abundance around you or so much knowledge. You, This is so divinely guided, Torrens. If you don't know Jesus, y'all need to freaking get to know Jesus. Spirit is helping you out in a way that you can't even imagine. But some of you probably are not even seeing it.
1947 when I said that, Taurus. Some of y'all know Jesus. Throw some angels on this, please and thank you, Spirit. What do you have for my Taurus Collective? Taurus need to know. Well, Taurus, I, I read my cards up right now, but we have the Nine of Cups and Temperance uh, fell out in the reverse here. So two ways of looking at this. Some of y'all need to bring Jesus into your life. You need to find you, you need to find some balance and peace. Okay, you're pissing away a great opportunity. Spirits come to bless you and bless you with an opportunity, but you're pissing it away. In the upright. This is temperance, spirit protecting you, whatever you got, nine of cups, beautiful energy, divinely protected. Torrens, spirit is working in your life right now. Uh, I really hope you take the opportunity to uh, uh, grab that life preserver that God has thrown down. You got a choice to make, Torrens. What are you going to do? You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ling a ling. Good luck and God bless, Doris.